Welcome to the Florist Review online video featuring design techniques for the professional florist. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and today I'm here to share with you techniques for creating an on-trend contemporary prom corsage. The Pantone Color of the Year greenery is fabulous. That's going to be our basis. Another trend for 2017 is contrast and texture. So working with three different ribbons to create a composite bow, different sizes, little different coloration, different textures. When you're working with a composite bow, you start with the ribbon that you want in the center. Then build your bow. maybe three loops on each side, and give it a cut. Come back with another ribbon and just tuck it directly into your fingers. Continue building your bow. Maybe three loops on each side. You can adjust depending on how big you want it to be. And then lastly, the largest ribbon, maybe just taking it and tucking it right behind. No loops, just few little tails coming out. Then you can always go back and add more streamers. And you can see by getting the contrast in color, texture, and size makes for a truly beautiful bow. And using a 26 gauge wire, wire it off very tightly. Then you won't need that wire. So once it's secure, go ahead and clip that off. The base of the corsage is the wrap wristlet from the Oasis Company. Just pull it out flat, and snap it so it stays straight. The tab is where we'll glue everything. Now to follow in with the greenery, I use the Just for Flowers flower dye from Design Master in fresh green and sprayed the wristlet so that it will coordinate with my ribbons. To trail the beads, I used ribbon that I wrapped with bullion wire. Gives it a little more movement, character, to do this, it's bullion wire, and I put it on an old-fashioned spindle. That way it spins nicely. Then taking a bit of ribbon, cut off a length. Then wrap the bullion wire onto the end of the ribbon, kind of securing the two together. And then this is where you've got to go out to the garage, into the hardware, and you need a drill. And you're going to insert the ribbon and the bullion wire as though it was a drill bit. So you just slide it in. And then wrap it tight. Then holding just the ribbon, not the bullion wire, you're going to hold it taut. And the bullion wire will just spin, wrapping. You can stop, slide your hand down, and as you get better at it, you can do a longer piece and a longer piece. Start with a short piece and practice so you figure out the tension, and soon you'll be a drilling pro. To add the mega beads, just cut them off of the spool, and I'm using the smaller ones. Remove the wire. And then using the wire as a needle, just feed it through, pulling it taut. And when you get it into place, a small dab of Oasis Foil Adhesive will lock it in place. To secure the pieces, Oasis Foil Adhesive on the tab. And let it begin to set. Then place it on the back of the ribbon and let that begin to set. So the glue to the glue is going to be the most secure. But you want it to start to dry out a little bit. It will set better. Maybe the bangles, a little bit of glue on the end. And again, set it aside to dry. Then you can take additional loops from your wired ribbon. Just make a few more to tuck in. Wire that off. Clip it, put 
put a little glue on it. So that's the trick when you're working with the Oasis Floral Adhesive or cold glue, is let it sit just a bit and set. Then once it's started to dry, you can go back, add your pieces together, ribbon first, letting the tails all go one direction. Come back and add your bobbles. And then adding the loops of the wired ribbon as well. Then let it set before you go back to add your floral materials. The corsage base can be done ahead of time, just the minute you get an order or even in speculation of orders. Then set it aside until the busy moments of adding fresh flowers. Then when that time comes, pull out your base. Make sure you cut all the ends in either a slant or a dovetail, whichever is your preference, and then add in the flowers. Now in this one, I started with seeded eucalyptus and foliage, and then went back and added a little bit of brunia, succulent, and roses. And of course, a little more of the mega beads for sparkle. Starting with the Pantone Color of the Year greenery, adding texture and contrast with the composite bow, you've got an on-trend prom wrist corsage. For a photo of this design, refer to your magazine. Tear the picture out, post it in the back room so you can all remember the techniques. Because now you know. Just add your own creativity.